Good morning, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving from the Schofield family. Guys, today has been a great day. It's been awesome. We're spending it with family. Um, so usually we do two Thanksgivings. And guys, for all of you that are going to have in-laws or that are going to be inheriting in-laws or whatever it is, all right, this is the best way to do it. Let me explain what we do. Usually on Thanksgiving, um, we usually wind up going to the in-laws and having Thanksgiving on Thanksgiving Day. Well, then my family does another Thanksgiving, which is usually that Saturday. It works out freaking awesome, okay? We do it for Christmas the same way. We usually go, uh, well, 100% of the time, we go to the in-laws for the holiday day, and then we have it on Saturday for my family, which is great because then you don't miss anybody. Everybody's coming, and it's like literally there's no excuse why you can't show up because... I mean, it's on a whole nother day, all right? So that's been awesome. But today, we are not going to the in-laws. Um, my father-in-law is out on a coos deer hunt in New Mexico. Um, my mother-in-law has just moved out of their place. And she is at her parents' house for Thanksgiving with my brother-in-law, Caleb. So it's kind of all, everybody's a little bit scattered. So today, we're just hanging out as a family. I'll probably wind up cooking something good for us. And then... Um, Come Saturday, we're going to wind up going and going to my parents' place for Thanksgiving. I'm in charge of the turkey. Super excited about it. I've never injected a turkey. I'm going to inject this turkey and then uh, and then cook it in the oven, which I've always liked an oven roasted turkey. But guys, like I said, happy Thanksgiving to all of you. We love you all. Some of the things we're super grateful for is definitely you guys. Thank you for everything you guys do. The encouragement, the the man we love your videos or dude you need to work on this a little bit you know sometimes i freaking hate getting those comments and i've been working on it all right something that i've been working on new year's resolution stop blowing up all right so anyways um but like i said guys thank you for everything you guys do for us thanks for watching the videos thanks for sharing them with everybody thanks for just helping promote what we're trying to do um one of the things i'm very grateful for and something that i'm very thankful for is that I do know how to weld and that I do know how to fit pipe and I can do all sorts of different things with metal. I mean, right now we're learning copper and screw pipe and all that. But the best part about that whole thing is, is that now we have a social media platform that I can try to help you guys learn how to do it. And <clears throat> granted, I can't show you every technique in the world on it. Um, a lot of other YouTube channels are filming and showing puddles and all that. And I base mine more on experience, I guess. I base mine more on, hey guys, this is what we're doing today. We're gonna run a line, which we've done a lot of times. And then, or or like I'll pull out an ISO and I'll be able to show you guys how this ISO is gonna go together. And some of the pieces that, hey, look, this is what I'm gonna roll out are these pieces. And then I only have to make one position weld right here. Got a little black dot on my hand, keeps catching my eyeball. <laughs> Pipe wrench got me. But uh, anyways, and that's just something I'm super grateful for is just the social media platform to be able to come out to you guys and just show you what I do every day, all right? Every day is something new, especially right now. Every day is super new. Um, we've been doing Pro Press Copper, very different, okay? Very, very different. Uh, got to go out and do some uh, sweat copper. I, I soldered a bunch of copper together. That was pretty cool. And then um, the other thing we've been trying to get on is screw pipe and we've been doing a ton of screw pipe lately a lot of plumbing stuff a lot of uh domestic water all your hvac stuff like we've been learning this and it's one of the best things about this company is guys my fitting skills have gone way way up because we have so much fitting that has to be done it's not like i sit on one iso and go pull measurements for one day and then go out and build it and then the next day i gotta go pull measurements we're pulling measurements all day long but anyways so like I said, guys, I hope you guys are all with your families. We love y'all. Hope that you were able to make the trip to your families. Hopefully, I know a couple of you with the, with the, everything that's going on right now probably couldn't make it to your families. Or you might have been uninvited. Sometimes it's not always a bad thing, all right? So anyways, family is always number one. But, you know, hopefully everybody's with them right now. So... Uh, let me kind of explain a little bit of why we've been a little bit MIA on um, YouTube and Instagram and kind of what our plans is to fix that. <clears throat> the reason that we are not filming as much as we normally do. Now, one of the problems with filming and taking pictures and all that is 
I have to go set up cameras now. Okay, so in the oil and gas, we're usually given a, a welder helper. Well, 100% of the time, I've been always given a welder helper. And his job is to grind beads, hand rod, get the next pieces ready to go, and um, be cutting pipe or whatever else. Well, when that's all done, and all we got to do is weld that thing together, there's lull times between when I'm welding and his next step is. And so usually in that lull time, he'll be taking pictures or he'll be filming. And, and hence the reason we had so many good videos is because my helpers, my helpers are 100% of the reason why we have such great videos. And it's because they were the ones doing the film and they were the ones that were taking the initiative and doing all the B-roll and doing everything that way. And now that we ain't got one, but it's been eating into the filming a little bit. And so in order to counteract that, and one of the things that we've been doing and trying to improve on and, and get better about is the filming. And so I was sitting here thinking, cause I can't run back and forth while I'm fitting something and then go Jimmy with this and then come back and fit with it some more. You know, it just, it cuts into work. It's not professional and you just can't be doing that. And so the way that I'm going to counteract it is I went and got GoPros. Okay. GoPro footage is not always the best footage. I, I can tweak it a little bit and make it a little bit better and whatever else. There's going to be a lot of voiceovers because GoPro audio is not that good. Okay, compared to the Canon that I have here, GoPro is just not, um, just doesn't hold the standard with the really nice Canons, all right? The camera that I normally film on is like, a, I think totaled out, I'm like $3,500 just in the, the lens and the, and the camera body, okay? So it's a really nice freaking camera. GoPros don't hold anything, a candle, nothing to that camera. So you guys are gonna have to bear with me a little bit. I'm just trying to explain to you why we've been lacking and um, and how we're gonna go about fixing it. So that's how we're gonna go about fixing it. I got chest mounts. Um, I'm gonna get some 3D stuff built to where it will take a magnet because a lot of what we do is we can just stick it to the wall and it'll just sit there and film, all right? Then we don't have to babysit it and everything's good that way. So um, kind of what I'm gonna be doing that way, I don't have to be jimmying with cameras and we can still just get the same amount of work done and be professional about it. That's key, gotta be professional. So, uh, same thing with Instagram, it's been hard. Uh, I have another welder that works with us, Garrett, freaking stud, super, super talented dude. And he, he'll he be taking pictures of me or I'll take pictures of him. And, and so the Instagram has been able to work out pretty good that way. But uh, like I said, still lacking. And, um, but we're gonna start getting better about it. But anyways, you guys, this year is gonna be a great freaking year. Okay, it's been a great freaking year. It's been a weird year. It's been super out there, kind of a year, I don't know. <laughs> Never been so happy and so mad at the same year. It's just crazy. But anyways, um, guys, there's always something to be thankful for. Always, no matter what you do. Um, there's always something to be thankful for. Your health, your, uh, your ability to go find work, your ability to work, your ability to have a job, no matter what it is, all right? There's always something, family, um, your family's healthy, or, you know, whatever it is, you can always find something. The truck started the day. It might not start at lunch, but it started the day. And um, just always something to be grateful for. So, guys, keep trudging along. Just keep getting after it. Today's Thanksgiving. Relax. Take a, take a breath hang out with the family, eat great food, flounder a little bit, and then uh, and then get ready to knock it back out. I don't know if you're going back to work tomorrow or what your guys' plans are on everything, but hey, there's always work to be had. There's always something to go after. Set a goal and let's go get it done, all right? Everybody have a great Thanksgiving. Be blessed. We appreciate you guys more than you know, and thank you for everything you do. Be blessed. Talk to you later.